Hey guys, it's Damien here with the upgraded tail boom with this helicopter and I'm going to be taking you guys to the field because I took two flights today and I apologize in advance because it was extremely windy that day and the first one I took it easy, still a little harder than the last video you saw and the second flight I just went as hard as I could with the maneuvers I was comfortable with. Check it out. Hey guys, so I pretty much have the 2mm wall boom thickness for this flight. I'm going to do a couple flights. This first battery is around 4.19, so it's at 100%. We'll see how much effect the weight of this helicopter will affect battery flight. But this is flight number one. We'll probably warm up with this and maybe try to fly it a little harder on the second flight. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, so that didn't fly too bad. It's actually extremely windy out here, so it's a little hard for me to fly it harder than usual because I'm not as comfortable flying in the wind. But let's check the battery. Uh, that was about a two minute flight. 3.86, 52% left on the battery, so that's not bad at all. I could probably keep flying for another minute or so. So with, with the addition of weight, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna try to plug in the second battery really quick and see if I can fly it a little harder. It'll be difficult just due to the fact that it's just quite windy. So satellite is currently blinking, so it might take a little bit. So hang on a second. And since uh, I brought a 1.5 millimeter to the field just to verify that the screws are, are good because I'm not luck 
Loctiting these screws. I should be, but I'm uh, changing out parts constantly, so it looks like they're they're not too bad. They're holding up. All right, so we're ready for the second flight. I'm just gonna quickly tell you guys the throttle curve that I'm running for, because I'm just flying in stunt mode one. Sixty-five percent, and then stunt mode two is eighty percent. So eventually, I'll bu bump it up to a higher percent. But just testing it out for now. So here's a uh, flight two. Hopefully, it's not as windy. Probably one of the most stressful flights I've ever had. I tried to beat the living daylights out of it. I just kept TikToking to as much as I possibly could. It's still at 65%. Haven't bumped it up yet, but the one time that it almost flew at me was pretty much I lost orientation, but it was extremely windy out here. My fingers are starting to freeze. But holy cow, I'm thoroughly impressed on how well this flew. It is just a absolute tank and a beast. It, I mean, I flew it as hard as I could. Eventually I'll have some pilots out here just to test fly it that are better than me. But I did as much as I could to fly it as hard as I could with 
the wind levels. It might be on all 10, 20 mile an hour winds. Can't really tell, but it held up. The, the battery stayed in. Uh, not much wiggle in the tail. I could definitely use a, a thicker vertical stabilizer, but I'll test it out later. And uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad for uh, flight number two. Scary, like I said, super scary, but I'm glad it's in one piece. So my videos won't be as delayed as it, they were before when I was getting parts. So awesome. All right, so the one thing I did forget to uh, mention is the battery percent. So I'm going to switch over the camera and we're at 3.827 volts per cell, 42%. So not bad, not bad at all. And as always, if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.